<laughs> well, it's a little quiet right now. Folks don't know there's a lot of construction going on on my boss so yes. sometimes you can have to shout over it but it's all good and I'm glad that you're here in studio I'm happy to be here in fact I always stay down the street when I'm in uh, Providence like it here well very good it was you know I was trying to get you I was like is he gonna Skype and you're like I'm gonna be here well, in Rhode Island. I said I'm in Rhode Island why not uh, stop by I gotta go down to Little Compton in a little while so why not? I was at Alex and Annie, Annie World Headquarters today. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Got, yeah, which I couldn't be more impressed with. So talk with us a little bit about that, maybe how you came to represent the company in a number of legal matters. Maybe you want to start maybe from soup to nuts. I mean, the conversation. I think the are... first time, ironically, was I ended up at a charity event at the vineyard, Carolyn's uh, Sakata Vineyard, and I was so impressed with the place. I just, I mean, she was doing a fundraiser for an orphanage uh, in Armenia. She's of Armenian descent, as am I. And I just could not believe what a magical place it was. And um, later to come find out that there's a couple of noisy neighbors who uh, like to be, you know, the old expression, nimby, not in my backyard. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Well, um, but the town council, they get a shout out. They've been uh, doing yeoman's work, uh, putting up with uh, a couple of uh, squeaky wheels. But um, I met her and then became familiar with Alex and Ani, and it really is a phenomenal, phenomenal um, corporation. And they've got this unique blend of doing humanitarian work and, and things of that. In fact, I was literally in New York when she lured me up here just two days ago. She was getting an award yes. end of the year yep. with Robin Roberts and Giselle. Yes. And your Providence, Rhode Island uh, young lady was uh, the hit out of those three, if you can believe it. I've <laughs> known Robin for a long time. Carolyn was the hit of the uh, the event. And when they were talking about the fact that she's given or donated over $50 million in the last five years, it's incredible. I, in fact, I keep telling her, move out of Rhode Island. I know you don't want to no, hear that. No. And, and, but she's, she's born here. and raised and loves it here. And uh, I keep telling her, you know, there's other states that want you. So would you say, you know, because it becomes so successful, you know, does it come with the territory to just have more sort of legal headaches? Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, the... If you spent, anybody who spent any amount of time there, and I've represented the largest corporations in the world and high profile people, and I've had that good blessing, uh, I've never seen a corporate culture like this. It just, it blows me away. I mean, our people are happy to be there. They love being there. They get wildly compensated. Um, and there's, there's got to be a thousand people in the universe of Alex and I. Uh, I'm, so it's, a, it's an incredible story that people don't really know about, even here in your own backyard. Well, we've written quite a bit about Alex and I, a lot about Carolyn, and of course this is sort of the latest. Can you provide an update where things are at with the cases? Or? We've got a, we've got a um, couple of, for lack of a better term, knuckleheads who think they're going to uh, do this, that, or the other. We'll deal with them on night. <laughs> this is, uh, it's certainly not on the forefront of anything that we're worried about. Um, and uh, I think that comes with the territory. When, unfortunately, when you become successful and uh, uh, people tend to want to take an elevator to the penthouse and um, want a free ride, and that won't happen in this and case, this I guarantee you. something you've and seen before and dealt with before. I, I, look, this is a story <laughs> often told. The one part of the story that I, I would tell you that is unusual, I've never seen a corporate culture quite like this for the charitable component. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's got, Carolyn is, who is a force of nature, has got that charity by design, and um, and as I said, she's given $50 million in donations and things like that, supports a couple of causes that I'm supportive of. Um, they work in partnership with the David Lynch Foundation, and, um, which is what I learned about two days ago, which I had no idea. I'm taking transcendental meditation to the inner city and at-risk kids, which is a, what a great idea. I mean, I, other than my father, who was a prose- kind of a hard-charging prosecutor, used to say, if you want to solve the crime problem in America, just... Um, incarcerate all males between 16 and 25. This is, I think, a slightly smarter idea than that is have them calm their brain down for 20 minutes yeah. twice a day. So I, I can appreciate that. So speaking of kind of uh, ideologicals, I mean, you're West Coast, we're East Coast. 
And you've been here in Rhode Island a lot. I mean, we're such a small state. And sort of... Do yes, you my, to- <laughs> joke, my joke about Rhode Island, and I tease them unmercifully, is whenever I ask how far is it, they tell me 10 minutes. I don't care where it is when I'm in Rhode Island. Where is this when they tell me if they take me there and they say 10 minutes? I'll warn you, Little Compton's a little bit more than 10 minutes from us right now. That's so I mean. We'll make sure we get you out here. And I time. understand that to get to Little Compton, you've got to go to Massachusetts yes, and then back in. I've right? had folks here that are just... Completely perplexed when they see this. That sign says Massachusetts. Where are we going? Well, coming from Los Angeles, to get from the east side of L.A. to the west side of L.A. during rush hour right now would take me two and a half hours. So think about that. I could I could literally go to the train station and be in New York quicker than I could going to West L.A. So a little, a little different dynamic being here. Yeah, it is. And you should appreciate it. I mean, the... Um, the Providence downtown to me looks like, or reminds me of a couple of places that were in the midst of their renaissance in other cities. And so I, w- I, I would bet on that. Well, we're hoping we're here. We're, you know, putting you're our stake kind of, in the you're ground. Right, you put, put your stake in the ground. ground. You're right here on the corner. <laughs> Just do something with the parking lot. <laughs> well, they're finishing up this building over here. Hopefully something will happen after the fact. Okay. But one of the other legal battles that you're involved in that's gotten international attention is this whole fire festival and yeah, the class I, um, action lawsuit. As the parent of two millennials, I heard, especially my son, his, he's 24, and his crowd was talking about this, and there was a lot of chatter leading up, leading up to it. And then I started hearing the horror stories, and then one of them got a cease and desist letter for actually going onto Twitter warning that there was a problem. <sighs> Yeah, and I've subsequently <laughs> found out that that law firm has basically pulled the plug and said we're not representing them anymore. Um, but it became a horror story. I mean, I, you know, I, I tease the kids in saying, oh, you white privilege, this or that. But there were some real horror stories about this. People who had paid any from, anywhere from $1,000 to $30,000 to get a group to go down there. They wanted to go on this festival, their version of Woodstock or whatever else. Yep. And then next thing you know, they're stranded without food, water, and accommodations, and, and horrific, uh, horrific stories. So, yeah, this gained national, international attention. You know, lots the of Fire Festival, which the is F-Y-R-E. F-Y-R-E. So it was, it was the beautiful beautiful people. They had models saying, we're going to be down there too and promoting it on Instagram. So, you know, um, I was checking it out because it just had that sort of... Did you buy a ticket? I, didn't, I never get out of here. Okay. That's <laughs> I, I was going to say, here. we could use you as a subclass <laughs> of the class action. Just put my name on it anyhow. Okay. <laughs> is, was the festival insured? I mean, is there... Well, it appears that there are insurance policies. We've now also... Uh, done the investigation and uh, found out and identified at least the seed investors. The seed investors had a role in this. There's a hard money money launder we've identified. There's actually, we're running down. I was given a tip today. A hot hot tip. A hot tip. (laughs) About a 401 phone number for the festival. So far, I've only been able to identify as a novelty line, but we're drilling down on that as we speak. If there's a Rhode Island connection, of course, would love to know about Uh, it. You will be the first to know. I may even Skype in. <laughs> just Skype in specifically. Just one of those things that gains that cultural attention. You're often, you know, right in the middle of all of these things. This one um, took off. You know, I filed it. I do a podcast. Yeah, that was what I was going to ask you about next. With Adam Carolla. And Adam was at the house. I had done a two fundraisers on the, the Sunday, the, I think it was the 30th of April. And I left Adam at the house with a bunch of people, and I went to another one for a mental health uh, foundation that I support with Mia St. John, the boxer. And, get a little closer here. Yes. You're a little off the mark. Okay. okay. I'm a, and, so, um, and so when I came home, Adam was still there. By that time, he was into about the, his fourth finger of scotch. <laughs> and I left him in the living room and went and filed the lawsuit. And the next day, he called me up, and he says, that's where you went, and that's why you were <laughs> drinking water. And I said, yes. Yeah, it's, I have a little bit of work to do. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you've got Alex and Ani, you've got the fire Festival. You know, anything else you got on your plate here? Well, that... we've got, I, you know, look, uh, Chris Brown is like a son. He's also like an annuity because Chris, <laughs> has, I, I've been with him for 10 years <laughs> protecting him, and and, um, and he is a target as well, and yeah. so we deal with that. I mean, at any given time, there's something related to that. I, we have a, uh, a very vibrant um, plaintiff's practice as well, and I've got great people working for me, so I get to flit around and do what I want to do, and all of the others work very hard. <laughs> well, I know you work hard. I've been trying to nail you down. Just with everything going on here, 
Alex and Ani saw you associate with the Fire Festival. I said, I am going to get Garagos in here. And you were relentless. <laughs> <laughs> I was, just kept following up. It, uh, nicely relentless, I would like Yes, to you say. were. You were very charming. <laughs> so I wanted to get you in here, and uh, hopefully we'll talk with you soon as things play out with Alex and Ani again. Uh, Folks abs here absolutely. always want to uh, know what's going on again. They, being such a big they company. should. It, it, well, it's a big company, but it's an unusual company. And so... Um, you guys should be proud of it, and if you aren't, uh, trust me, I've got plenty of other states that would like to recruit <laughs> with Carolyn and her band of merry uh, people uh, right out of here. Well, she's got the place down in uh, Newport that she's trying to, the old uh, Belcourt Castle, a lot Correct. going on here with Alex and Ani again. She's also got Kingsley on Thames, I think is the name, which that is a good. place that just, I think, was approved yesterday, and she's got the... Um, the vineyard, which hopefully tonight, as we're speaking, they'll approve, which is where I'm headed. Okay, well, that's why I pulled in the big guns here. LA's lawyer to the stars, Mark Garagos. I'm very happy you were able to come into studio. We'll chat soon. I appreciate Next it. Time. And again, a little more than 10 minutes, so we'll let you out the door to head down to Little Compton because you got places to go, people to represent. <laughs>